And now to another developing story, a storage facility for the homeless right in the middle of a neighborhood. The city signed off on it tonight, but families who live in that neighborhood worry about their safety. Our tenders reporter Bree Steffen spoke to one family with a unique perspective on the problem. Nights at home usually start with math homework. 36. And then you have? 46. But tonight. You said 50. There's one problem nine-year-old Madison and her mom Perla can't solve. Well, it was some kind of frustrating that they didn't get what we were saying. When we left, we kind of left crying. City Council approved a plan that would let homeless people store their belongings in this building, a short walk from Madison's home and just feet away from her school. This is them in the meeting this afternoon protesting with a sign made by Madison. Children have rights. The city says it's a place for the homeless to keep their belongings while they get help, look for housing, go to school and work, and job interviews. Because so many neighbors don't want it, the city cut it from 1,000 units to 500. It won't open until after school gets out for the summer, and they'll provide security. But that doesn't make families feel better. I still feel scared. One of Madison's biggest fears, that there could be another Hep A outbreak. If we get too close to them and we're always near them, then maybe we can get that too. And then... <laughs> it's a problem that's personal for Perla too. She doesn't believe this is the way. When I was her age, I was homeless. And, you know, like to me it was, my, me and my mom didn't have a storage facility to go put our stuff in, but we made it. They might not know the answer tonight, but they'll keep trying to figure it out. They should like move it somewhere else. It's okay that we fight and sometimes we don't win, but we keep trying and we just, we don't give up. Bree Steffen, 10 News. Such a unique perspective. All right, they were not available after the final decision, but members of the Alpha Project spoke during public comments saying for many, this is the only way they will get help. We've seen so many people so resistant to come into programs, to get in our outreach vans, because these are their belongings. So I kind of wanted to focus on that, because when you see people driving by with their shopping carts and there's dirty blankets in there or whatever, that's all they have. <laughs> They're not going to let go of it. The city also promises to make the area around the storage facility a drug and alcohol free zone, remove any litter or graffiti on the premises and report any criminal activity.